Hey you guys, so I decided to film a Q&A video. I have been answering the questions in my vlogs and I feel like it kind of makes my vlogs a little messy and confusing and less of like my day and more of just like me sitting there answering questions. So I wanted to kind of stop doing that and I just decided that I'm going to answer the questions. You guys, sorry, this is annoying me. Like I hate when my cardigans won't stay where they belong. Okay. So I wrote all the questions down in my notebook just to make it easier for me. So I'm going to say the person who asked the question and answer it. Okay. So my life asked me, do you suffer from acid reflux? Did you ever try writing a short story for profit? If you could have a last meal, what would it be? I know my questions are randomly weird. Thanks girl. Honestly, randomly weird questions are my favorite because it's something different, different questions that I haven't answered before. Cause I get a lot of like similar questions. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's nice to have something different. Um, I used to suffer from acid reflux really bad. Um, this was quite some time ago, like five years ago. And I don't anymore, thank God. Twinkie, stop jingling over there. Did you ever try writing a short story for profit? No, I've never done that before. I've like written short stories, I've written poems, etc., etc., but never for profit. Um, if you could have a last meal, what would it be? Honestly, it depends. Text message. It honestly depends on um, my mood. Like right now, it would probably be pesto pasta because I'm extremely craving pesto pasta right now. I was going to have that to eat tonight and there were some plans that got changed. So, too bad, too sad, no pesto for me. Okay, Wendy and Baby Vlog asked, Oh, Destiny is so cute with her baby fever. I don't know if you guys mentioned it before, but how do you guys plan to have a baby? Destiny ain't the only one with baby fever, it's me too. Like... To the extreme. Okay. Um, how do we plan on having a baby? We looked it up. Um, to buy sperm where we are is $690. And honestly, that is cheaper than I thought it would be. And sorry, I was looking over there. I heard something. Anyways, <laughs> that's a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. But it's some random guy. I don't know if push comes to shove. Obvi, that's going to have to be it because... I ain't having no sex with no man that I know. Ain't into the P. I'm into the V. Anyways, if only V's could get other V's pregnant. Like, what? Okay. So, and also there's adopting, but after doing plenty of research, adopting costs like $14,000. And I'm just like, a child costs $14,000? First of all, there should be no price on no life. But it's like... That brings me to the point of like, why are abortions free, but then adoption is $14,000. There are children out there who need homes, but some families don't have that money. So those are two ways, get pregnant ourselves or adoption. We need to grow more. We need to, you know, have a home and be more secure before we even start doing the deed. But I guess we'll see when the time comes. It's definitely gonna be interesting. Chelsea Hall asked, do you and Destiny want to get married? And if so, what is your dream engagement ring? We do want to get married. It's something we've talked about before, but she's going to be the one proposing <laughs> because my whole life I dreamed of being proposed to. And thankfully her whole life she dreamed being the one to propose. Twinker, twinks a lot, twink bot. Stop jingling, stop jingling. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's just making me sidetracked. She's like itching her neck and her little thing is jingle, jingle, jingle. Oh, I know. Okay, so my dream engagement, oh my God. Engagement ring is actually $3,000. Tweaky. Hey. 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 Sorry, I'm having a little issue with her. Okay. Her paw got stuck in one of my holes on my cardigan. Be careful, baby. Okay, so my dream engagement ring is actually over three thousand dollars and it's rose gold and it is so beautiful um i wish i had a picture i could show you guys it's on my phone and i can't edit like it's just whole thing okay so it's rose gold and around the band is just diamonds and diamonds and diamonds 
and then the like main part of it is circular and it's like this beautiful diamond but like around the diamond is like a bunch of other diamonds like if you google rose gold circle diamond ring might pop up might not I don't know but who honey child <laughs> it is so beautiful oh my gosh okay Chloe the vegan asked what are you most excited about when it comes to moving and what are you the most afraid of when it comes to moving p.s. I respect how I can't read my handwriting oh I respect how raw and real you are despite the hate that takes a lot of courage I love your videos and I will always support you honestly you're the sweetest thank you so much for saying that it honestly means the world to me when people like really understand that I am real I am raw this is real this is raw I'm being honest 100% honest with whatever I show you guys like it's just easy that way so what are you most excited about when it comes to moving I'm more so nervous more than anything I can't feel excitement right now like I'm freaking out about the whole thing but honestly my hair is crazy right now okay but honestly like I'm excited to just kind of breathe for a minute um I won't have a job at first and it's like I need that like a little mini break there for a minute so I'm excited about that but I'm gonna be working on my YouTube and hopefully working on my YouTube and trying to make that like a main priority while I'm trying to like be there for Destiny's mom and be there for Destiny and like a whole thing and um what was the other one what are you most afraid of I'm honestly afraid that it's just not gonna work out I'm afraid that um, I really don't like living with other people. I honestly don't. I like to have my own home, my own rules, my own refrigerator, my own everything. I hate living under other people's roof. And I never knew that until I lived on my own. So I'm just hoping that I enjoy the experience and uh, I'm afraid you guys. I'm just nervous and I don't, I don't know what else to say about it okay so the next questions or question is from Maddie K and she asked what's a good budgeting system you and destiny use honestly we don't really have like a budgeting system but I'm really OCD when it comes to our bills every single month I write I have a whole booklet for it I write down all of the bills the date they're due what it is how much it is and I always always this is like my key advice for anybody is round it up like ten dollars fifteen dollars always just in case depending what it is um and then I uh where was I at with that <laughs> um oh yeah I write down when we get paid how much we get paid and when it comes to like income coming in, I always round down about $20. It really just keeps you at a safe point because you don't know how much money you'll be spending and you don't know how much money you'll be receiving. So it's just easier to um, make it to where you think you're spending more, but you're and you think you're receiving less and it's worked for us. That's why we're able to save a lot of money. And certain things like that and we both share like a bank account so it works really well like we don't put anything into savings like we're able to figure out okay oh I didn't say that the, this part's obvious like after like you do the full month split in half because we get paid two times a month so split okay we get paid on the fourth and on the 19th let's just say that just to make it easier the fourth to the 19th what are the bills how much are they add it up the 19th to the fourth what are the bills what are they add it up simple so you know between this check and this check how much money do you need to save between this check and this check how much money do you need to save and then obviously at the end of it all you need to add up the full month so you know like okay um right up here I don't get paid enough yet there so I'm gonna save some of that money got to make sure to save a hundred dollars for the next you know thing it's 
it's confusing. It's worked for us for 10 months, so I guess that's all that matters. Um, everyone has different like things and whatever, how they deal with their money and whatnot. But honestly, like I'm in charge of making sure we have the money, when it's due, how much this and that, but Destiny pays it. Like we have the perfect system, so. Pugs in a Rug, that is a cute screen name, loves it. Pugs in a Rug asked, as a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? I was that typical, maybe not typical, I don't know. Like when I was like five, I wanted to be an actress, I wanted to be a model, I wanted to be a singer, I wanted everyone to love me because I was the princess, like that was me. As I grew up a little older, literally I wanted to be a teacher. Um, in high school, I went through a moment where I really, really, really wanted to be a correction officer or like working in prisons. Like I really wanted to do that, like really bad. And then, um, I went to back to wanting to be a teacher, but all like deep down ever since sixth grade, a writer was like, Oh my God, I want to be a writer. Oh my God, I want to be a writer. But a lot of people said it was like far fetched, <laughs> whatever. Okay. So Roto's asked, have you considered weight loss surgery? thoughts about it in general is it something you would do I'm honestly thinking about making a whole video on this I have talked about this subject beyond a million times maybe you just haven't seen it Rotos but excuse me that's okay um honestly yeah that I feel like it's like too much for me to like get into but just to make it short form have you considered weight loss surgery yes I've considered it thoughts about it in general it's either good, it's either bad. Like, I know people who have had amazing outcomes, and I know people who haven't. And is it something you would do? I, need, I just need to make a whole video because there's just so much to it. I don't want my whole video to be this. Suzanne's WLJ asked, Do you think you or Crystal will go visit each other? Would Destiny go? Do you think it would be awkward or no since they are friends too? How is Crystal doing? I've been watching you since your first video. Since my first video. Wow. That is so flattering that you've watched me for that long. Like, my videos have changed drastically since the beginning. I used to be really shy. If you guys watch those videos, like, I talked really low and I was really calm. And now I'm like, hey, Amberlynn's in the house. But anyways, um... What was the question? Me and Crystal do want to visit. Really? Me and Crystal do want to visit each other. We have talked about this tons of times, and we thought that maybe while we're in Kentucky, me and Destiny, and we're kind of closer to Crystal now when we move there, that we'll like drive like halfway, and she'll drive halfway, and we'll stay in like a hotel. Yes, Destiny will definitely come. I think it would be awkward whether Destiny doesn't come or does come. Either way, it's going to be awkward at first, but Crystal is my best friend, and I will get through the awkwardness. It'll happen, I promise. And Crystal is doing great. I don't really know what... I don't really think she cares if I tell you guys this, honestly. She is just doing amazing. Like, she's had some jobs since I've left, and she's gone on dates, and she's had... A girlfriend or two and now she has a boyfriend and she's just like a young girl like going at it that sounded wrong that's not what I meant but she's a young girl like figuring herself out and she's awesome and she's really like doing good and I'm so happy for her we talk every single day and yeah like I love her two bits and I love her to pieces and it makes it so much easier like that destiny accepts that relationship and like um, I'm pretty sure crystal's boyfriend accepts that relationship like we're besties we're soulmates by like friend way if you get my drift okay so like today's just been a long day and I'm like feeling myself not really but okay <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely make more um in the comments below, let me know what kind of videos you want to see from me or anything to that sort. So I love you guys and thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!